What's going on riders? Here's another ride home review with another special guest. This this time around we have my friend Julie, who's a big fan of the movie slash story that we're gonna be talking about today, which is The Murder on the Orient Express, a Agatha Christie novel that was once again adapted for this time the silver screen again, I should say again. Yeah, Third time through. Yeah, exactly. Directed by Kenneth Branagh, stars Kenneth Branagh, plus a slew of others, including um, Michelle Pfeiffer, Willem Dafoe, Johnny, Daisy, Depp. Johnny Depp, Daisy Ridley. Um, so, well, let's just get into it. Basically, it's like like it's an Agatha, Agatha Christie story about a uh, murder on a train, a railroad line, and. Uh, Hercule Poirot is the main detective who happens to be on this train to try to solve the murder. Um, that's all in the basically the title, so no spoilers. So all of you think I spoiled it, I did not. So let's go right into it. What did you like? What was the what was the likes for you? Um, I would say that the best parts of the movie were cinematography. It was beautiful. There was not a misstep in the the setting, the costumes, the the aerial view, I mean, the train was impeccable. There's just, every detail was perfect. Um, and I think the supporting cast knocked it out of the park. Um, I also won a Best Supporting Actor nom for um, Hercule Poirot's mustaches. <laughs> Holy wow, those were amazing. Um, so yeah. I agree. I thought the cinematography was one of the best I've seen this year. And of course, the, you know, like Julie mentioned, the art direction, the production design of everything oh. else was just absolutely outstanding. And Kenneth Branagh's personalization of Hercule Poirot was a little cute. It was nice. You you got yeah. to like him. So about dislikes, what what are the things that you didn't like? Well, so it's my favorite book in the whole world, and I've read it hundreds and hundreds of times. Um, and so I I I'm a purist, and and I struggle when books are made into movies because I read so much. So um, some of the departures from the storyline um, were a little troubling and kind of didn't make a lot of sense. Um, I think some of the peripheral characters who were sort of a little bit more fleshed out in the book um, were absolutely not at all. And in fact, there's one character you just don't even understand why they're there. Um, so so there's some some um, departures from the book that were a little I struggled with. And honestly, I think you you said it over dinner. I think Kenneth Branagh should either have directed the thing or starred in it. He would have been great in either role, but both. It was all about him. It was it was an ego trip. I agree. I thought he felt for the what I call the Mario Van Peebles moment. So anybody who's ever seen the movie Posse will know what I mean by that. And it's uh, starring and directing. It's pretty pretty obvious. Yeah. So I agree with that. Um, I also thought that because of the fact that Kenneth Branagh's character was such a huge character that it didn't leave much for the development of the secondary characters who were all great actors but we didn't get to see other than Michelle Pfeiffer I don't think we got to see them shine yeah. um, especially you have somebody like Will Willem Dafoe in there you really can't subdue um, what he brings and Johnny Depp even um, it just I just felt that uh, I think you mentioned it there was blockbuster moments but um, it just it was uh, it was uh, uh, just not fleshed out enough in this in the script. You, you know, I mean, I have to say, and I said this since I saw it. I, this is was my fourth viewing tonight, um, so um, I can say that I think Michelle Pfeiffer probably hit it out of the park. The biggest, her character is 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 but is is actually supposed to be this great tragic actress, and she does the part justice. I wish there was more of her because she was so good. Um, but you know, you've got a movie where you've got Penelope Cruz. And Judy frickin' Dench. And and Judy oh, Dench played every mm. single role she's ever played. You know, she was royalty. She was she plays royalty. And and she denched the heck out of it, but you know, she was on screen for like half a second here and three and a half seconds there. So Yeah. You wanted more from the other characters and a little less of Hercule Poirot. I agree. I thought that, I mean, it was a short run time for the movie. I thought mm -hmm. it went by really quick. So if you like a short movie, this is it. But yeah. Is just not much more. Well, that's it for now. Thanks, Julie, for showing up on this. And remember, everybody, if you want more of these reviews, subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram. We're there. Um, so, and next week, not quite sure what I'm going to see. So, it'll be a surprise for all of us. So, until next time, see something good. Bye. Bye.